hope you're doing well at home. Tumewamisi sana watoto. Tumewamisi sana kama walimu, lakini tunawakumbuka na tunawaombea. Bwana asifiwe. Eh, hey, Yesu anakupenda. Sasa tunakuja na Bible, notebook na kalamu. You're going to be talking about handling the situation, you know. Today we are going to talk about praying every day. Jesus coming the storm. You know praying is communicating with God. Matthew 6:33 ambayo inasema seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the others shall be added unto you. Corinthians 13 verse 8 Love never ends Even when I slurp my chocolate milk and it is gone, gone And even though a fun day stops at bedtime Love never stops It keeps going and going and going Woohoo! I love love Praise God children Welcome to today's service I believe that you have been blessed throughout the week I gave you an assignment last week. Nika kuambia, you forgive others and you love God more. So Monday, you love God more. Tuesday, more than Monday. Wednesday, more than Tuesday. Thursday, more than... Like that, like that. So, Leo, I believe you love God so much. Yeah, we kimzima, you're adding, you're adding. And continue doing that each and every day. And you will realize that you, your life becomes very peaceful. So I want us to start to today's service with the word of prayer, so that you can continue. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercies, and we thank you for your word. Jehovah Lord, as we share it, we pray that Jehovah God, you may change our lives, you may instruct us, God, and you may guide us for our future, and even in our lives of salvation. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. So we've been doing the book of Acts, and last week we did the stoning of Stephen. Today I want us to do another person who was very, very important in the book of Acts, and his name is Philip. And today we're not going to do only Philip. There's going to be another person here who is going to be called the Ethiopian eunuch. A eunuch is a person who works in like a temple. A person who is devoted. Unonanga kama vile kuna priest. Now a eunuch is a person who has devoted himself to work for a king. Yani ame? 
amechukua life yake yote he cannot marry he cannot have children he's just devoted his life to work for the queen ama the king so there was one person who was the ethiopian eunuch imagine ethiopia alikuwa ametoka from ethiopia amen apako huko juu israel he had gone to worship god he had heard about the message of god this time in the book of acts the word of god was spreading very fast in the world so the ethiopian eunuch was walking through the desert unajua vile desert iko imekauka there is no water the sun is scorching but he had a, he had a, a chariot alikuwa anatembea na horse yake na kakarejika kwa hapo nyuma anatembea hapo nyuma and what he was doing he was si alikuwa ametoka ku worship god now he was reading the word of god when he was still there reading the word of god then God spoke to Philip. Tumesema there are two people in this story. God spoke to Philip and he brought him to this Ethiopian eunuch. So Ethiopian eunuch amesoma Bible. Have you ever read the word of God and it is very confusing. Awelewi, awelewi. So this is what is happening to the Ethiopian eunuch. He was reading the book of Isaiah. Anasoma, awelewi. For example, when you are reading the book of Revelation, alafu it is very confusing. So ilikuwa imefika kama hapo. So God brought in Philip to speak to the Ethiopian eunuch. So Philip akakuja, akasimamisha carriage yake, akasimamisha, akakuja, akaketi hapo and the eunuch akamuuliza, "Are you understanding this word?" Philip explained to him the word and he gave him the good news about Jesus. Unajua vile you speak to your friend unamwambia, "God loves you. God wants you to come to salvation so that you can go to heaven." akamuelezea the good news of Jesus how Jesus had come and died for our sins and the Ethiopian eunuch was so convinced that I could decide today is the day that I'm going to get saved just take a minute and try to remember the day that you got saved what had happened nini ilikuwa imefanyika until you decided to get saved did you hear the word of god who was preaching on that day or who was teaching or did you just read it from the bible try to remember how you got saved and then you can be able to understand the Ethiopian eunuch so the, the, the Ethiopian eunuch alikuwa amepreachiwa na Philip akampreachia akamwambia about the good news of Christ and he decided that he's going to get saved so akaomba ile muombi wako waokoka then as they were moving along sharing the word of god they saw a like a stream mahali penye kuna maji so unajua desert hakuna maji but kuna kwanga na oasis and some streams in the desert so akatolifika kwa the stream wakashuka the courage wakaenda kwa the stream and then Philip baptized the Ethiopian eunuch. Unajua vile watu wanakuwa baptized in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit unaingizwa kwa maji unatolewa he was baptized. Then instantly wakati tu bado wako hapo the Holy Spirit came and filled the Ethiopian eunuch. You know the Holy Spirit is the one who guides us to read the word of God to understand the message and to receive everything. Immediately he was filled by the Holy Spirit and at the same same time the Holy Spirit the word, the power of God came over Philip and then he just disappeared just like that Watch this God sends his messengers at any particular time see where you decide when you're going to get saved This is number one. Second thing we are noticing God can send anyone Aijalishi wewe ni nani even you who is watching here today God can send you to go and spread the word of God right now and you know when you do it it brings joy to the kingdom of heaven wakati mtu ameokoka angels are celebrating na wewe unajiongezea taji yako binguni when you go to heaven you will have a very beautiful crown biblia inasema how beautiful are the feet of those who spread the word of God imagine If you just share the word of God with your friend, umekutana na rafiki yako shule, umekutana na rafiki yako home anywhere mali mnachezanga, alafu you just share the word of God. Umwambie God loves you. Blessed are those who seek mercy because they will be shown mercy. You just share the word of God. Memory verse umefundishwa. A song that you know or anything that you are sharing with your friend, it makes you look beautiful in the eyes of God. Mungu akiwa heaven anakuangalia anasema This person is beautiful. This person is the best. So this is what was happening to Philip. Philip 
aliitwa a share the word of god and he did not disobey he went straight ahead and then god enabled him to share the word of god and the ethiopian eunuch was saved never underestimate the days of your youth useme mimi ni mdogo i cannot even share the word of god to anybody god can still use you to share the word of god there are so many stories yenye unasikia unasikia kama mtoto anaenda Sunday school mom haenda Sunday school dad haenda Sunday school lakini wana mkorofisha wanamkataza wanamwambia don't go there but through the child akiendelea kwenda Sunday school akiendelea ku share the word of god unapata dadi anaokoka unapata mom anaokoka wote wanaanza kukuja church this is what god does through children unapata mtoto mmoja ameanza ku share the word of god akiwa church ama akiwa shule and unapata even in their area watu wanaanza kuokoka and they come to salvation now let me ask you what is stopping you from sharing the word of god today tomorrow the day that after that what will stop you from sharing the word of god it should be your number one task the bible says that our work as christians au kukuwa christian ukujange church unaenda home there is a work for a christian and that work is to witness the word of god so when you are there at home at school everywhere share the word of god with everyone just try answer to the holy spirit is going to empower you and you're going to do it even better than you thought you could so from today start sharing the word of god come on a video on sunday school you share with your friends share what you have learned with your mom and dad and you will see god changing their lives slowly and slowly usijione kama wewe ni mtoto you cannot share the word of god god is still going to use you i want you to finish with the memory verse of today which comes from the book of john chapter 10 from verse 27 listen it is very short hii hata unaweza shika inasema my sheep listen to my voice i know them and they follow me my sheep listen to my voice i know them and they follow me jesus is saying that when people who are called into his into his kingdom wakisikia tu sauti ya yesu akiongea they listen and they follow so mungu akikwambia leo mungu anakuambia listen my son my daughter spread the word of god so they listen and they follow what god is saying so i believe that you have been blessed this week sasa ni spread the word of god love god more but spread also his word i want us to put our hands together and close with a word of prayer thank you god for you are good thank you god for this message this day you are reminding us that god we are supposed to be witnesses of your word all over the world and we pray that Jehovah god we may start at home and we may spread it in our schools in our villages in our places of of playing and every other thing and Jehovah god we may be crowned as beautiful people and Jehovah god we may receive the grace that comes from you pray that Jehovah god you may guide us in every of our endeavors in Jesus name we do pray and believe amen so i believe that you have been blessed and Jehovah is going to empower you to teach others the word of god mbarikiwe sana Until we meet again bye bye